Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're gonna go through a new sneak peek that the game just, Netmarble just dropped by their YouTube channel and this sneak peek made me super hyped as I'm always, you know, every single sneak peek I'm super hyped, I'm moving my tail like a dog and after we get the update and I'm going down. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened last like three or four updates, but yeah, let's go through it and let me tell you my opinion about what I just see, what I'm expecting to be added in the game and what actually could save the game from being down, you know, big time. Last two weeks was so bad for the game. I feel like way less and less people log in, way less and less people interact with me through Discord, through uh, my YouTube comments and all this. But Instead of just telling me, uh, telling you my opinion and what I should, you know, I, what I believe that could change and be save the game, I want your opinion also to drop it down below in the comments and also participate in the live stream I'm going to do tomorrow, which is going to be a poll live stream for every single out of you agent that believe can have some ideas that can drop by and we can put them all together, summary them up and send them to Netmarble through an email or something. We're gonna figure out, depends on how many of you are going to log in tomorrow into my live stream, same time that this video dropped today, but 23 hours from now. So it's gonna be like seven hours before the daily reset of Sunday. So. Let's go through the sneak peek and see what I'm talking about. And yeah, you got, you can see here clearly that it's for sure Mystic Tier 4. But uh, what else? I, I let you enjoy it the first time. But yeah, what else? What else this could mean? She is transformed into a name agent and this alarm, you can hear this alarm, reminds me a lot of the alarm of Danger Room from the X-Men series, you know, the classic series of X-Men the animation. This, you know, this red alarm reminds me a lot the and then Danger Room, if you are a new player and you don't know it, Danger Room was already in the game. Danger Room introduced into the game with World Boss Legend as a new level uh, of content, you know, as the hardest content. Back in the time, it was like three and a half years ago, uh, but it was like beta version, never stayed in the game. It was like one year that Danger Room, it was in the game. But Danger Room pretty much was the only way, uh, the only way to participate. You had to use Awakened characters and Tier 3 characters. When Awakened characters and Tier 3 characters was kind of, uh, you know, rare. So we didn't have back there a lot of support. We didn't have back there a lot of leadership. So people had to do Tier 3 uh, and Awakened characters that gonna help others to go through the content. In the start, Danger Room was really hard or taking a lot of time but after a couple of updates uh, it it became super easy people get 25% peers and the power creep was completely deleting the stage and they deleted it they didn't fix it they just deleted it it was the only the only game mode in this in this actual game that you could make a team with your friends take two of your friends you know log in into the server find three other, you know, three enemies and go and fight against your DPS. So I could have, let's say, Simak and let's say God, two of my moderators on my Discord. We were talking about that before the sneak peek came last night. It was a blast that this came the, ne the very next day. But yeah, that was something, uh, you know, useless information. But yeah, let's say that I'm taking two of my friends and I want to prove myself that we have a good team up, you know, reminds you a lot, Dota, LOL, the games, you know, or Counter-Strike, you know, take your team up and go against other players. And this is an endgame content. Uh, and what I believe they're going to do is a remake of the Danger Room. 
they're gonna do a remake on the danger room because if you can read there in the top secret file it says top four tire for requ access required so it's gonna be a game mode only for tier force so all the speculations about dropping cyclops without uniform makes sense you know because he's gonna provide the leadership now we're having mystique tier for as it seems even if she's not gonna get a uniform as it seems she's going to get a uniform this style she has is different from the game but the point is that you can use her as a support if the game mode gonna require only tier fours and the developers are going to uh trying to go uh and trans you know make not the wall boss legend like the end game content or gbr they are trying to introduce a new game mode and this could save the game 100 guys you know this is a place like if it's like danger room extreme it was before it's a place that whales super cool players uh you know making strategies uh build their characters to do more damage compete with others go against someone and tell him suck it i just want you because right now in the game there is no such a thing we're trying to do something similar in my live stream competing with others in gbr you know taking the same characters and go there to see who is gonna do the max damage but right now in the game other than you know uh, competing against an npc in abx in alliance conquest in everywhere in the game you're fighting against players but they are npcs you don't have live action to compare the damage yet you can pull out pushing your buttons against someone else and you know tell him suck it bro I have a better account, I have a better character, you just lost. And in the same time, get some rewards out of it. Because if the game mode is going to be, you know, tier 4 only, you have to spend to build support, you have to spend to build leaderships, that it's something that there is not a lot right now in the game. There is only a few that can be lead and support right now, and it's like Thor, it's like Thanos, it's like Odin, it's like storm but there is not a lot of tier fours that can provide a solid leadership for pve and the support buff so they're gonna tell us to build tier fours for this specific mode i want them to give us at least the same amount as they are giving for gbr for all the game modes like 150 carbo and 150 solo falfin if that's not the case this is a, this is gonna be a huge disaster again like it was the epic quest in the they, they they are totally totally idiots dropping an epic quest a tier 4 without uniform and after two weeks uh, where players have dropped playing stop logging in stop care about the game feels like the game are making fun of them after introduce something to explain the reason they did that with the epic quest and the tier 4 cyclops because before they dropped this sneak peek it was only speculations for two weeks I'm an old dude, I can have patience, I can wait, I can wait and see, but all the people that playing and interact with the game to Discord, Line, YouTube, are like young fellas, you know, 20 years old, 25 years old, 15 years old, that's the people, that's your audience, Netmarble, these people can't wait for two weeks for you to mess around with them, making fun of them, dropping characters, uh, so, so, so outdated already tier 2 and tier 3 in a world of tier 4s and the tier 4 without a uniform explain us make us know Ma tell us you know guys we're gonna do that but wait in two weeks we're gonna drop something about it it's totally stupid the fact that they did first the epic quest and after release a game mode that can come and be you know fit to the epic quest and fit to the fact that they're releasing characters without uniforms tier fours so in my opinion if this game mode is gonna be rewarded if this game mode gonna give a reason to a player to build their account to go ranking on live somehow danger room extreme it was so buggy it was like everyone uh was after after a while when people had all 25 percent peers the boss was down like crazy they could fix that they could delete the cards they could delete the peers they could delete something into the game mode but they they 
They just delete the game mode. It was a red flag for a lot of players. Everyone was complaining into uh, forums. I wasn't expecting for them to delete because in my opinion, it was so fun game mode. And the fact that you could out DPS enemies with less gear because you played faster, you played better. It was a boss, it was Strife, it was Jin and someone else. And you had to do some tactics, do some damage. And depending on the team you had, you could do more damage, having a lead, having a support. It was really funny and you had to think about what teammates you're gonna invite and all this stuff. So in my mind, you know, if they give something like Danger Room and if they give rewards, tier 3 and real rewards, this is gonna be epic and this can revive the game in my mind. If you don't think so, if you think that something else is missing from the game, drop it down below in the comments or be there tomorrow into the live stream. I'm gonna make a community post for exactly the time and let you know, you know, when we're gonna drop the live in Sunday. Something else that it's really important to say, it's not only the top secret file here uh, has uh, the tier 4 acquire requirement, but in the newspaper below, the newspaper below has, as you can see, it's the front page, it was like the art of the update, we actually took danger room in the game. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this was the update house of X, House of X was a crazy comic run and that's still running and they have changed actually now. It's kind of different the name, but yeah, I believe, I believe 100% that they are going to introduce again, reintroduce and remake something similar to Danger Room. And yeah, this is gonna give people, you know, reason to go in forums, to go in Discord, to go in YouTube, look for mates, look for friends, make groups, play the game, farm tier 4 materials and for the people that don't want to interact with others they could do something that they did with GBR. With GBR they introduced the main GBR that you need three more players to go through but there is the solo GBR if you don't enjoy playing with others you can play yourself and be cool you know. So that was it I hope you enjoyed smash the like button if you did and also don't forget to hit the notification bell hit the subscribe button so you can let know every content we're dropping from short videos and live streams. I'm looking forward for it. I hope they don't mess it up because if they did mess it up again, this is the last nail in their coffin of MFF game. I mean, three updates back to back, Loki, Hela, totally copy paste, new epic quest totally copy paste if they f up this danger room or whatever game mode they are going to introduce i'm not sure uh, there is another option actually that a lot of people say that perhaps they're gonna drop another world boss legend with bigger you know with uh with you needed to use tier 4 materials if they do that it's completely stupid because world boss legend introduced the tier 3 and awaken minimum characters you should use you know now it could be world boss mythic <laughs> or danger room extreme number two let's cross fingers guys that the game is not dying and we're gonna see something cool this time from developers yeah hope you enjoyed see you into the next kisses in your faces